that plane crash scene and investigators sifting through the debris today. Notice the gouges in the ground they marked as they search for clues. Our colleague Chris Flanagan also unseen for the third night. And Chris, you've got an exclusive look at how that crash could have happened. Yeah, Lee, they did it. It certainly do. We reach out to a local flight instructor. He programmed into his flight simulator the exact conditions that the pilots are flying in here on Tuesday. Well, that exclusive story coming up in a moment. But first, brand new video of the investigation here in Akron. Investigators digging through a small mountain of debris, even using small machinery, searching for parts of the plane that could hold crucial clues into the crash. So there are still items that we are looking through uh, on site uh, to attempt to find. So that's what we'll be doing over the next day or two. Investigators keying in on certain clues. This is what the NTSB calls a witness mark. It's where the plane's left wing first made contact with the ground. The tail was damaged, the wings were damaged and separated from the fuselage, but all of it was at the accident site. Today, the plane removed from the crash site, covered in a blue tarp and hauled off in a flatbed. The cockpit voice recorder, the CVR, already at NTSB headquarters in Washington, D.C. There's 30 minutes of conversation information on that CVR. That's what we'll be looking at more carefully next week. There was conversation about the weather, about landing. The NTSB won't speculate on a cause, neither will Tim Lanigan. As far as all the approaches I've shot, this is a fairly straightforward approach. Lanigan is a certified flight instructor and has flown into Akron Fulton Airport dozens of times. He programmed into his flight simulator the almost identical conditions the pilots flew on Tuesday. Like all of us, Lanigan wonders what happened in those final seconds. They may have been both outside looking for the airport and missed that they were sinking below minimums. And those pilots, very experienced. Between the both of them, they had more than 10,000 hours of flight time.